the best tripod for photographers in 2022 to get sharper shots in any conditions. If you shoot video more than photography, head over to our list of the best video tripods, where we've got you covered. Tripod kits that comprise a set of legs and a head can range in price from around $15 for a flimsy, often unbranded option, to about $1,500 for a top-of-the-range tripod. Keep in mind that some tripods are sold as legs only, while others are sold as a kit with a tripod head included. So with an eye on stability, load-bearing capacity, features, performance and price, we've selected top tripods that we think are the best you can buy right now. Choices include 3-section and 4-section aluminum legs, with X-Pro heads of either 3-way or ball design, while carbon fiber alternatives are only available for the 190 GO. In this price bracket, the 4-section Manfrotto 190X Pro 4 Ball Head Kit, MK 190X Pro 4 BHQ2, is our top choice. It's a full-sized tripod that reaches a lofty operating height of 175 cm, yet shrinks to a fairly modest folded height of 57 cm. The tripod legs remain rigid and sturdy even at their maximum operating height, with the center column fully extended, and the 4-section legs help to reduce the carrying size. The leg and center column sections are constructed from 8-layer carbon fiber, which gives them their lightweight solidity. The Benro Rhino FRHN 34 CVX30 is at the top because of the size spectrum for a travel tripod, but its simplicity, rigidity and ease of use mark it out as a top choice for landscape shooters, hikers and any outdoor photographer who needs to travel light. Next is the Vanguard Veo 3 Plus 263 and it is a full-size tripod with three sections, so it doesn't fold down that small but it's quick to set up and reaches a good height. It doesn't feel that heavy for an aluminium tripod, and if you want to shave off a little weight, there is a carbon fiber CB, version that's only a little more expensive. The design and build are first class, the angled column works brilliantly and all the controls and adjustments have a smoothness and precision that you would expect to cost a lot more than this. It packs down to just 39 centimeters in length, so it's easy to carry on outings and when hiking across country, but it also extends high enough to work as a regular everyday tripod. It's certainly no bargain, even in the aluminium version, but for its combination of design finesse, compactness and rigidity, the Peak Design Travel Tripod is out on its own. The Benro Travel Angel Kit, the 28 Ab1 uses a shorter configuration of four section legs, and they're connected to different joints at the top. You still get three lockable leg angles, but the joints enable the legs to swing upwards, so that the feet surround the head for stowage. As with the Mach 3 kit, this Benro tripod is precision engineered and beautifully turned out, combining aluminum leg sections with magnesium castings. Again, one of the legs is detachable for use as a monopod, combined with the removable center column. High quality accessories include a short alternative center column, interchangeable rubber pads and metal spikes for the feet, and a smart padded soft case. The ball head for this Benro kit is an upmarket B1 model with independent locking, friction adjustment and pan release knobs. The tripod folds down to just 41 cm, thanks to the combination of 5 section legs. The Leo 2 is not the smallest travel tripod you can get, and not the cheapest, but its ratio of folded length to maximum height, combined with its all-round versatility, make it one of the best. When it comes to folding down small for compact carriage, the Siru NT1005X reigns supreme. It's definitely designed to be as small as possible, not only featuring 5-section legs with a swing-up facility, but also incorporating a 2-section extending center column. That's only about half the folded height of the Manfrotto 290 kit. And despite its aluminium build, the Siru is only 10 grams heavier than the Novo Carbon kit. Three locking leg angles are available, and there's the usual facility to remove one leg in the center column for use as a monopod. And there are no retractable or interchangeable metal spikes for the feet, but the rubber pads are of good quality. Maximum operating height is a little meager, but the carrying size is incredibly small. Thank you for watching and do subscribe for more.